Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Samson, who falsely claimed to have been stabbed by Maddie Barton to get himself imprisoned for a crime he didn't commit, is entering a guilty plea at his next plea conference. The teenager has come to terms with his impending incarceration, but his parents, Sam and Lydia Dingle, are concerned that he is unaware of what lies ahead. Kane listens in on Sam's meeting with Aaron Dingle as he urges him to give Samson a pep talk regarding prison. Later on, Sam witnesses his half-brother abusing and taunting his son, which horrifies him. However, he quickly realizes that Kane is getting his son ready for his time inside. While Sam begs his uncle to assist him in fighting dirty, Kane fears that the other prisoners would tear him to pieces. When Maura Dingle sees Kane playing about with Samson, she becomes enraged and lashes out at him for being the thug who put Maddie in jail. Everyone knows she's going too far when she leaps at Samson. Can they stop her before she makes a regrettable decision? Will Taylor informs Rose that their previous night's encounter was an error and shouldn't have happened because he is a married man. Rose says she wishes it were something more, but her expression changes when Ruby Fox Milligan calls. Rose's life soon comes to an abrupt end when Kim enters home farm and claims to be fully aware of Ruby and Rose's scheme to destroy her. Has Rose experienced another complete loss? Emmerdale's rugged man, happily oblivious to the fact that Samson had been betrayed by someone much closer to home, Kane Dingle was certain that his wife, Mora, had given the young man into the police. In Monday's episode of the ITV soap opera, Samson Dingle was escorted out of the wool pack by PC swirling after it was revealed that he had attacked his ex-friend, Josh. In order to clear Maddie Barton's name, Samson confronted the young man earlier in the episode and pushed him to tell the truth about what had transpired the day he was stabbed. Sadly, Josh gloated while keeping his confession a secret. Samson became enraged and chased after Josh, promising that he wouldn't be able to carry out his plans for very long. However, the allegedly violent attack was never captured on camera. After Samson was taken away in a cart, Kane Dingle and his wife, Mora, became tense because the Dale's tough guy asked her if she had reported Samson to the police. Even though they are related, Mora and Samson's relationship has become extremely strained in the last several weeks as a result of Maddie Barton's arrest and subsequent incarceration, a frightening period for the openly trans guy. Mora begs Samson to tell the truth because she was desperate to get her son out of jail but he betrayed her by informing the police that she had abducted him. This finally caused Samson to tell his father, Sam, and stepmother, Linda, what had happened to him when he was stabbed, proving that Maddie had never been at fault for the attack. But on Tuesday, August 6, in the enduring drama, it was revealed that Noah Dingle, Jack Downham, had given Samson up to the police after his girlfriend, Amelia Spencer, Daisy Campbell, Notice he had made a police call on his most recent call record. When Noah discovered the real story behind the Woolpack Tavern, an enraged Amelia threw him out of the establishment. Following the revelation, soap fans took to Twitter, X in droves, distancing themselves from Amelia's response, saying, Noah, if I were you, I would move on from Amelia. One wrote, she just hates the fact you're not Samson. Another person said, I'm very sorry for Noah. Despite Samson's treatment of Esther and Amelia, she continues to defend him. Samson and the other boy both deserve to be locked up in some sense. A third person interrupted, saying, If I were you, Noah, I'd run you idiot. After spending Tuesday in the community of the same name, Sam gave his son, who has been given a four-year prison sentence, one more visit. Notably, Sam pushed him to act appropriately while inside, as if worried he would look up to his violent Uncle Kane. 
It was also reported that the authorities had discovered more evidence against Josh, so supporters can relax knowing he got his own revenge. Sam Hall, an Emmerdale star, has spoken out following the confirmation of his departure from the show. After more than 10 years of portraying Samson Dingle in The Dales, there were many rumors that the actor would soon be leaving the ITV serial opera. After being arrested for assaulting his erstwhile buddy Josh Cope, Samson was informed of his destiny during Tuesday night's episode of Emmerdale. After admitting that Maddie Barton was speaking the truth about the stabbing that occurred earlier this year, the teenager was already facing jail time. For weeks, Maddie has been unfairly imprisoned after Josh coerced Samson into accusing Maddie of the stabbing at the Hyde, which was actually the fault of his unruly friend. Samson eventually admitted to the crime after pressure from others around him and in a tearful chat with his parents, Sam and Lydia. He also accepted responsibility for his own stabbing. However, he declined to disclose that Josh was the catalyst, even though Maddie subsequently urged him to be completely honest. Samson was getting ready for prison time because he was going to be prosecuted for lying to the police. But Samson became angry and attacked Josh after he refused to tell the truth about his involvement in the stabbing. In the most recent episode of the popular soap opera, there was conjecture over who had defamed him. Kane surmised that Morrow might have done it in retaliation for Samson accusing Manny of stabbing him. But... After being confronted by lover Amelia Spencer, who was concerned that Samson would miss out on years of their daughter's childhood, it was subsequently proved to be Noah Dingle. After it was confirmed that Sam Dingle had received a four-year prison sentence, Emmerdale released a farewell message from Sam. Three child actors had previously portrayed Sam Dingle's kid until Sam took over in 2009. As you can see, Samson has now departed from the village. I want to thank all of the actors and crew who have supported me over the past 15 years. It's been an amazing storyline, he remarked. Then Sam made a playful allusion to a potential comeback, saying, hopefully we'll see Samson again. Fans of Emmerdale were also quick to express their dissatisfaction with Samson's, for now, ending. Lisa Riley has disclosed that having inked a new contract, she will remain on Emmerdale. Speaking to the Mirror, Lisa expressed her happiness that the show's executives had given her the opportunity to continue, saying she has absolutely loved her time back there. I'm thrilled to have signed a new, long contract, she exclaimed. Patty and Mandy bring such joy to the show you can rely on the fact that they're going to bring you that sprinkle of fun. And I love that. Lisa continued, speaking on her on-screen relationship with Dominic Brunt, who plays her ex-husband and current fan, K. Patty Kirk. They got married for the first time 25 years ago. And I really hope that I'll still be in the show in another 25 because I adore it so much. Next week, the pair plans to walk down the aisle once more but she has been keeping Patty in the dark about her true identity as a financial dominatrix, a woman who gets enormous payments from obedient men online. Patty is going to find out about her secret before the big day. Lisa stated to OK Magazine earlier this week that she thought the couple will eventually get back together. She declared, it was inevitable that Mandy and Patty would get back together when I returned to the show six years ago. He adores her chaos, and they are soulmates and closest friends. Even though she might be crazy, he just gives Mandy a smile and says, Well, that's my girl. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.